Today on this episode of CGT Prospect and Adventures, it's the day after Christmas and we are back at the Lost Culvert. We're going to clean up the last bit of that material from under that first grizzly so we can get ready to chop back it up and see what we have underneath there. So sit back and enjoy. All right. Back here the day after Christmas. Down here in the culvert. I've got the... Uh, Got the end of the first grizzly raised up here. I just cleaned out from underneath it the best I could. I don't have the shop back today, but I have seriously all of this material here. I'll walk backwards and not fall. I've got all this material in here. I've only got 10 buckets today, so I'm not gonna get it all the size of this rock that was underneath the grizzly and I dug this one out it was on the very bottom a lot of rust under it so I can't wait to dig up that material there but we'll uh, get this going here let me see if I can see if we can get the new tripod my little Christmas, Christmas present to myself set up here Let's see how that looks. All right. Uh, hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to this episode of CGT Prospect and Adventures. My name's Christian. I'm your host. I'm already burned out, man. Took took a lot of work to get this lifted up. There was some rocks under there that were still under it as I used to slide the grizzly that way. Had a hard time getting them out of there. Kept having to jack this thing up and put some support rocks under it so I could actually work underneath this. Um, so I hope you guys had a great Christmas and uh, ready for New Year's. What's your New Year's gonna bring you? Hopefully lots of gold. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna get busy here. Uh, I do gotta carry this rock out of here. That's gonna be a fun one. And in fact, as I end the video, I'll probably just carry it on out. Oh man, this has been a, been an adventure inside this culvert, let me tell you. Uh, when we do get the shop back in here again, we're going to clean underneath this section. And I'll clean all, I'll, vac I'll have all this debris out of here all the way to the second grizzly. And we'll shop back that whole entire section. It'll be a 15, good 15 feet to it. So it's going to be a nice little vacuuming session. I'm looking forward to it. So. I'm gonna go get this rock carried back here and uh, continue on. Hopefully the grizzly doesn't bounce too much when I walk on it. I'll put this on here, give some extra weight for now. Counterbalance me. Well, one thing I don't like about my new tripod, the legs do not adjust like my other one. So I can see I'm going to have a hard time setting it up sometimes. I might be looking at another one. So now we'll just do a little classifying here. Make a little dust. It's uh, definitely need to have the shield over the face. Uh, I better find a new section. There we go. Tailings bucket here. Row of screws through there. 
but I'll tell you, that was kind of cemented together, so that should be a good scoop. This would be a good bucket. It's got a number on it. Now, no, one of the new ones. bolts that hold it together. Is literally looking out of the culvert on that side yes you see rain no rain crazy splitting right here all right guys here's our material that we got oh shoot. Oh, shit. one two three four five six seven eight I have to keep one bucket open Here's my eighth one right here with all the trash and everything. But this is my tailings. I have to keep one bucket open so we can uh, have a bucket to classify down the quarter inch. Not easy in here. Sorry about the miss angle there. Um, not really liking this new tripod. And I'm gonna, next project after I clean up back there is clean this up a little bit. And uh, feather that out out there. Might be some gold in there. That material right there looks just like what we're pulling out back there, so. Got my friend Sean today. Seen him a few times. He was down below checking the bedrock for me, doing some panning. And uh, a little prospecting for me, told him to keep what he finds or whatever. And uh, he said he got about 20 some pieces in one of the pans, and he was hitting some crevices. We'll, we'll walk down there in a minute and check that stuff out. I've got to get all that stuff loaded up. All right, I've still got a couple rocks to pull out from under the grizzly here that's holding it up. I'm going to shop back. Get the light on. I'm gonna shop I've still got uh, just a tiny bit of material. Let's see, one, two, two, two and a half buckets. Now there is some material right under the front of that second grizzly I can probably get and make another eight, I don't know, let's see, two, three, four, five, four or five buckets. Let's go down here and see where my friend Sean was working. That's grizzly number two. 
That was a pine cone. Get our flashlight and shut off the, that light. Alright, you guys, hold on here. I don't fall. Oh, this is all the material that's come out from this sluice over the last 40 or so years, maybe 50 plus actually. So, Sean notices rock here, all wedged in there, been there quite a while. We were talking about smooth rocks and stuff. There's one of those round, heavy smooths shoved in there with that fine piece of uh, serpentine. And he was digging down here. Now, just like in my yellow bar, Along this river, I think only the top six, eight inches are going to be your pay streaks. The further he went down, his count went down in the pan. Now let's come over here, down the bedrock here. Now back in the day, they came out of there. I said hey to Sean up there, he's coming down. Or he might be coming down, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, they, that material came down through here. And I believe they actually cut this groove right here in the bedrock for a purpose because if you look at this rock here, somebody actually beat that thing out. No, that piece of wood's not holding it up. It's just laying in there, but Let's see if we can walk around it without slipping. Nice quartz contact vein going through there. And that crevice. So we'll come in here, we'll pull some roots of base of trees there and see what we can get out of this crevice somebody has worked it before but hey we'll check it out I know I've metal detected it not, not hit anything big but you know the gold monster is not gonna find that fine 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 gold that you find all the time the flower gold so that's what always adds up Oops. let me see if I can do this here oh whoop we go all right trying to get used to this tripod here all right guys well let's get the tripod piece out of the picture see i'm still learning this camera this thing i'm not too happy with it but that's gonna do it for today we'll leave you with a nice little sunset shot here the sun's getting ready to go down here on the trinity river so i'm gonna take all this material we got i've got eight buckets I'm going to set up my Gold Hog stream sluice with a uh, power pig head, the battery, power, battery powered uh, pump, the 2200 gallon hour pump goes on there. I've seen some good video reviews of it, so I'm going to check it out and see how it does. Can't say I was super impressed with the Keen. I, I did like my recovery, but I used it someplace. Maybe I didn't know how to use it that well yet, that I know I should have got a better recovery. So I'll, I'll take it back to the other place and try it one more time. But when I run this next material, you're going to be—you'll see me using the uh, Gold Dog from Doc, the stream sluice with a Power Pig head on there, so and a 2,200-gallon-hour pump. So we'll see what that prevails for us. Hey guys, remember to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you haven't done it yet. I do have merchandise. I don't have my store all the way set up, but tank tops, T-shirts, black, green. Hoodies, if you want them, I'm making up an order right after the first. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let you look at this bedrock down here one last time. Have a happy new year.